The following is an excerpt from the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. If you want to pick up the entire course for yourself, just follow the link in the description down below. Enjoy! Before we dive into those new things in the book, I want to share with you a great exercise you can work into your warm-up routine, which will really expand your sound and hopefully get you more comfortable with big leaps on the saxophone. So this exercise is called the octave drop exercise and is achieved like this. So what you want to do is on a D, we're going to start off playing that D with the octave key on and then we're going to take our thumb off the octave key to get the D below it. So it should sound like this. So notice when I played that time, I slurred all of those notes and I let the thumb, I let the octave key do all the work. But what I was doing as well is I was using my throat, trying to keep the throat open so that that low note would come out easier. So what you find if you have first, well, if you just try and play this at home, the first time you do it, you might find that you have trouble getting that low note to come out. You might find that even though you take the uh, thumb off the octave key, you're still getting the note above. So this is a great exercise to do because it really teaches you to open up your throat, to use plenty of warm air and to help you get out that low note. Once you become really conscious of your throat and your embouchure, uh, you can try and play your mid to upper register notes just as you would play your lower register notes. It just adds so much more vibrancy to your sound and there's no reason why you wouldn't play those notes with an open throat. So the takeaway from all of this is to let your octave key do the work so you can keep your throat position nice and open as if you were playing those low notes the whole time and your tone should improve significantly. 